Have you ever wondered how well you truly know your best friend? It's a question that may seem out of the ordinary, but today we're about to venture into the shadowy corners of friendship where trust can sometimes become a dangerous game. We all have that one friend, don't we? The one who's always there, the one who knows us better than anyone else. They're like a second self, an extension of our very soul. But what if that friend, that confidant, holds a secret so sinister it could shatter everything you thought you knew about them? Sounds like a plot straight out of a horror movie, doesn't it? But the stories we're about to unravel are not the work of fiction. They're as real as the friendship bracelets you exchanged in your childhood, as real as the promises you made to stand by each other through thick and thin. The only difference is, these stories took a dark turn, twisting the very essence of friendship into something terrifyingly unrecognizable. Imagine this. You're caught in a web of lies, deceit, and betrayal, spun by the one person you thought would never hurt you. Your trust becomes your weakness, your vulnerability, and your friend, your best friend, becomes the architect of your downfall. It's a chilling thought, isn't it? But that's the reality for some people. We're about to delve into their stories, and trust me, they're not for the faint-hearted. So if you think you're ready, let's start this journey into the macabre world of friendship gone wrong. Our first story is about a friend who seemed perfect in every way. They were the shoulder to lean on, the voice of reason in chaos the light in the darkness. But beneath the veneer of perfection, a sinister secret was lurking, ready to turn a tale of friendship into a nightmare. So let's dive into our first tale, where friendship turns into fear. Picture this, your best friend, the person you trust most in the world, hiding a terrifying secret. Imagine a friendship, one that has stood the test of time, two inseparable souls bound by shared secrets, laughter, and the occasional tear. Our protagonist, let's call him Jake, thought he had found his perfect friend in Alex. They were childhood buddies, shared the same neighborhood, the same school, the same dreams. It was the kind of bond that storybooks are made of. But as time rolled on, Jake began to notice subtle changes in Alex, a glimmer of something sinister in his eyes, a shift in his demeanor. Alex, who was once the life of the party, now preferred solitude. His laughter, once contagious, had now been replaced by an eerie silence. The transformation was slow, almost imperceptible. But for Jake, who knew Alex like the back of his hand, the changes were hard to ignore. One day Jake stumbled upon Alex's secret, a secret so dark, so terrifying it threatened to shatter their friendship. Jake discovered that Alex, his best friend, his confidant, his partner in crime, was leading a double life, a life steeped in malevolence. Alex was involved in activities that were not just illegal, but downright horrifying. The betrayal cut deep. Jake was torn between his loyalty towards Alex and his own conscience. He was caught in a whirlwind of emotions, shock, disbelief, anger, fear. The perfect friend, the one he had shared half his life with, was not the person he thought he was. Confronting Alex was hard, watching his friend crumble under the weight of his dark secret was harder. But in the end, Jake did what he had to do. He reported Alex to the authorities, putting an end to his reign of terror. Their friendship, once a thing of beauty, was now a haunting memory. In the end, the perfect friend was far from perfect. From a chilling secret, we now move to a tale of friendship that spirals into a deadly obsession. Picture this, two friends, as close as brothers, navigating through life side by side. They share everything, from dreams to secrets, creating a bond so strong it seems unbreakable. But as time passes, a subtle shift occurs. One of them, let's call him John, starts to change. His affection for his friend, whom we'll call Mark, begins to morph into an obsession. It starts, innocently enough, a few extra phone calls, more time spent together. But soon, John's life revolves around Mark, his every waking moment consumed by thoughts of his friend. Mark, initially flattered by the attention, soon grows uncomfortable. John's fixation reaches new heights when he starts to mimic Mark's mannerisms, his style, even his speech patterns. It's as if John has lost his identity and is trying to become Mark. The once cherished friendship now feels like a chilling echo chamber, where Mark is confronted with a distorted reflection of himself. The situation escalates when Mark decides to distance himself from John. But John, unable to cope with the rejection, spirals out of control. His obsession turns darker, more sinister. He starts to stalk Mark, following him everywhere, watching his every move. It's a twisted game of cat and mouse, and Mark, the unwitting mouse, is living in constant fear. One fateful night, the obsession reaches a terrifying climax. John breaks into Mark's house intent on confronting his friend. 
What happens next is a blur of fear and chaos that ends in tragedy. When the dust settles, Mark is found lifeless, a victim of John's twisted obsession. This fatal friendship serves as a chilling reminder that obsession can lead to terrifying consequences. The bond that was once a source of comfort and camaraderie morphed into a deadly weapon, wielded by a friend turned foe. Remember, not all friendships are what they seem, and sometimes the deadliest enemy is the one you least expect. Our final tale takes us into the heart of a friendship where the enemy lurks unseen. Imagine a bond so strong, so seemingly unbreakable that the very thought of betrayal seems unimaginable. This is the story of two friends, bound by years of shared laughter, secrets, and dreams. Yet beneath the surface of this ideal friendship, a sinister plot was brewing. As is often the case, it began subtly, small, nearly imperceptible changes in behavior, a forgotten promise here, an unreturned call there, the kind of things easily dismissed as the byproduct of a busy life. But, as time wore on, these small fractures started to form a chilling pattern. One friend, let's call him John, began to notice that his life was spiraling into chaos. His finances were in disarray, his professional relationships were deteriorating, and his personal life was in tatters. Yet, he couldn't pinpoint the source of his troubles. It was as if an unseen enemy was systematically dismantling his life, his best friend, whom we'll call Mark, was always there to lend a sympathetic ear. Mark was the one who picked up the pieces, who reassured John that things would get better. But behind that comforting facade, Mark was the puppet master, the unseen enemy pulling the strings. It was only when John discovered a series of incriminating emails that the horrifying truth was revealed. Mark had been sabotaging John's life, driven by a twisted sense of envy and resentment. The friend he had trusted implicitly was, in fact, his worst enemy. Friends are the family we choose, but as these stories show, they can also be our worst nightmares. We've delved into the chilling depths of friendship gone horribly wrong, where betrayal, obsession, and hidden secrets have stolen the spotlight from the warmth and comfort we usually associate with such bonds. Let's take a moment to recap the main points of the three stories we've shared. First, we had the tale of the friend in need who turned out to be a wolf in sheep's clothing. What started as a simple act of kindness quickly spiraled into a nightmare of deceit and manipulation. This story reminds us that sometimes the monsters we fear are not lurking in the shadows, but rather they're standing right beside us, cloaked in the guise of friendship. Next, we moved on to the story of the perfect friend. This tale was a stark reminder that obsession can masquerade as devotion. It showed us how a harmless crush can evolve into a deadly fixation, turning the dream of a perfect friend into a haunting reality. This story warns us that obsession can distort the very essence of friendship, transforming it into a one-sided nightmare. Finally, we delved into a story where friendship turned fatal, a tale of hidden secrets, resentment, and a fatal end. This narrative was a chilling reminder that beneath the surface of some friendships lie dark secrets that can lead to disastrous outcomes. These real-life horror stories are not just tales to send chills down your spine. They're cautionary tales that shed light on the dark side of friendship. They remind us that friendships, like any relationship, need to be based on mutual respect, trust, and understanding. As we wrap up this exploration into the darker corners of friendship, let's keep in mind these stories. They serve as stark reminders that not every friend is a blessing. In the end, it's important to remember that not every smile is friendly. As these stories show, sometimes the most terrifying monsters are the ones we let into our lives willingly.